ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is Season 3 of K-Check. Dito sinisigurado naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang challenge na yan. Kaya naman stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, Russell is a student of UP Diliman studying BS Metallurgical Engineering. He likes to play and watch volleyball and his volleyball idol is Yuki Ishikawa. He also likes to watch films and series and loves to talk about anything related to metallurgy. Si Ulap naman ay isang civil engineering student dito rin ang UP Diliman. She likes collecting CDs, rollerblading and riding the MRT. Talagang kakaiba. Si Dias naman, student of UP Diliman din, who is studying theater. His hobbies are playing video games and basketball. And given the chance, he will swim until his arms fall off. And last but not least, Chito is a student also of UP Diliman. He's in third year studying anthropology. He is a climate activist and a student leader. He stands the K-pop group Zero Base One and loves to watch YouTube videos in his free time. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics here in UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bulinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. And UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. So get ready to buzz in. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. Which singer was named Best New Artist at the 2019 Grammy Awards for her hit singles New Rules and One Kiss? Chito. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa is correct. Key check. Question number two. In what island province in Western Visayas was the Mangahan Festival celebrated? Chito. Gimaras. Let me proceed from May 3rd to 22nd in 2024. Gimaras is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. Which British official's residence is 10 Downing Street? Chito. The Prime Minister. Prime Minister is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What political ideology founded during World War I by Italian national syndicalists was propagated by Benito Mussolini in the Chito? Fascism. Let me proceed. In the 1930s, fascism is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Reaching a length of 18 meters, what is the largest living fish in the world? Ula. Whale shark. Whale shark is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What do you call an unbranded calf, an independent individual, or an NBA player from Dallas? Ulap. Bull. Bull is wrong. Anyone can steal. Dias. Maverick. Maverick is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What classic Humphrey Bogart movie has its title taken from the name of the largest city of Morocco? Chito. Marrakech. Marrakech is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is Casablanca. Question number eight. In what present day country did the volcano Krakatoa erupt violently in 1883? Chito. Indonesia. Let me proceed. That it was heard over 4,500 kilometers away. Indonesia is correct. K check. Question number nine. The Wimbledon Tennis Championships are held annually on what type of surface? Dias. 
Clay. Clay is wrong. Anyone can steal. Russell. Grass. Glass is wrong. Anyone can steal. Kito. Grass. Grass is correct. K check. Question number 10. In mental math, what is the quotient when you divide 8 by 1 sixth? Russell. 48. 48 is correct. K check. Question number 11. On which Asian island country was the Republic of Formosa established in 1895? Cheeto. Singapore. Singapore is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Taiwan. Last question for this round, number 12. What popular Alaskan breed of sled dogs gets its name from the word Russell? Alaskan Malamute. Alaskan Malamute is wrong. And proceed. Gets its name from the word Eskimo. Cheeto. Husky. Husky is correct. K check. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. And after that round, we have Cheeto in the lead with 70 points, with Dias, Ulap, and Russell having 10 points each. Two more rounds to go. And in the end, we will reveal our weekly winner. Itutuloy ang competition sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Chito is leading with 70 points. Followed by Dias, Ulap, and Russell with 10 points each. And now, it's time for round 2, contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this round. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Kaya naman, good luck, and let's, let's begin. begin. This is round 2, and this is question number 1, contestants. Which Jamaican sprinter released the single Living the Dream in 2021? A few years after winning 8 Olympic gold medals and 11 world championships. Chito. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is the correct answer. Keiche. Question number two. What is the name of the king of Thebes in a tragedy by Sophocles who unwittingly fulfilled an oracle for telling that he would kill his father and marry his mother? Dias. Oedipus. Oedipus is the correct answer. Keiche. Question number three. What word may mean correct in every detail as an adjective or to demand and get something as a verb? That word is exact. Question number four. What is the name of the warm ocean current flowing in the North Atlantic off the coast between Cape Hatteras, USA, and the Grand Banks of Newfoundland, Canada. This is the Gulf Stream. Question number five. What enduring type of poem has 14 lines and whose name comes from the Italian word meaning little song Dias? Sonnet. Sonnet is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. What is the title of the 2003 novel by Dan Brown about a Harvard professor seeking the Holy Grail, which was adapted into a film starring Tom Hanks? Cheeto. The Da Vinci Code. The Da Vinci Code is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven this time, what term can mean the study of the parts of an organism in science or alternatively can also mean the study of the internal construction of words in communication arts? Russell. Anatomy. That answer is incorrect. The correct answer is morphology. Question number eight. Which style of architecture in Europe in the 12th to 16th centuries 
Characterized by pointed arches and elaborate tracery is named after a Germanic people. This is the Gothic style of architecture. Question number nine. Parang nagbabakasya ng ating mga buzzer, ha? Mga contestants. Tahimik! Question number nine in an ecosystem. What organism such as an earthworm feeds on dead organic matter? The correct answer is detrivore. Question number 10. Jodie Foster won an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role as Clarice Starti Starling in what film? Hindi nyo kilala si Clarice starring Anthony Hopkins with Jodie Foster in the movie The Silence of the Lambs. One of my favorite movies. Question number 11. The first Philippine Republic was established in what town in Central Luzon in 1899? Sabi ng mga buzzer natin, Uy, what a relief! The correct answer is Malolos. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What is the name of the drink of the gods in Greek mythology, which is now given to a sugary fluid secreted within the flowers of a plant? Ula. Nectar. Nectar is the correct answer. And that's it for our second round. Thank you, Attorney Gabby, for that round. Scores recap tayo. Chito is still leading with 110 points, followed by Dias with 50 points, Ulap with 30 points, and si Russell, kaya mo pang humabol. Dahil our ultimate pagalingan round is next here on K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Scores recap tayo. Chito is leading with 110 points, followed by Dias with 50 points, Ulap with 30 points, and Russell na pwede pang humabol sa susunod na round dahil meron pa nga tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So dito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. And this will be a multiple choice round. We will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So, let's go for those points and for the win. Let's, let's begin. begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question, Prof. Marian. Okay, para matapos na itong math. If two triangles are similar, then which of the following is true? A. They are congruent B. They have the same size and shape C. Their corresponding sides are equal D. Their corresponding angles are equal Or E. All of the above E. All of the above Mali Dias Their corresponding angles are equal Pag similar triangles, they have the same shape, they're proportional, and shape is determined by the angles. D is correct. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Lu. Okay, economic history. The euro, initially launched on January 1, 1999, wasn't issued as coins and currency until 2002. Which of the following countries does not use the euro as its main currency. Letter A, the United Kingdom. Letter B, the Netherlands. C, France. France. Uh, mali, sorry. Wala. A, United Kingdom. Let me uh, finish the choices. D, Germany. E, Spain. The United Kingdom uses the British pound sterling. 
as its main currency and does not participate in the European Monetary Union? The correct answer is A, the United Kingdom. K check. Thank you. Prof. Sophie. Hey, um, for literature, this 18th century novel was adapted for film and television 11 times. The most recent being in 2005, starring Kira Knightley. Ula. Pride and Prejudice. I prejudice. Let me finish. Um, what is the title of this novel? A. Crime and Punishment. B. Pride and Prejudice. C. Sense and Sensibility. D. Pirates of the Caribbean. E. War and Peace. Pride and Prejudice is correct. Okay, check. Okay, off to our second set of questions, Prof. Marianne. Who is the American actress who co-invented a technique of frequency hopping, which is an ingenious way of switching between radio frequencies to avoid jamming signals, and it's a key feature. Hola, Hedy Lamar. Let me finish the question. It's a key feature of wireless internet. The choices are A. Jaja Gabor B. Rita Hayworth C. Hedy Lamar D. Lauren Bacall or E. Grace Kelly Although all of these actresses are beautiful actresses, one of them is considered an inventor. This actress starred in the epic movie Samson and Delilah in 1949 and along with composer George Antrail, she co-invented a radio frequency guidance system which was used by the Allied forces in World War II. Correct answer is C. Hedy Lamar. Okay, check. Naku, akalain mo yan. In the lead na bigla si Ulap with 120 points in by first 10 place. points, yes. Oh, oh. Thank you. Prof. Lu. Okay, history and theater naman. What was the longest running show on Broadway? Kadayas. The Phantom of the Opera. Okay, let me finish the uh, choices. Uh, A. Le Les Miserables. B. Cats. C. Wicked. D. The Lion King. E. The Phantom of the Opera. Winner of seven Tony Awards, The Phantom of the Opera opened on January 26, 1988 and has chalked up a total total of 13,981 performances before ending its run on April 16, 2023. The correct answer is E, the pa Phantom of the Opera. Okay, check. Next question, Prof. Sophie. The Hinebra San Miguel logo featuring St. Michael's Archangel was designed in 1917 by which national artist? A. Fernando Amor Solo B. Nick Joaquin C. Carlos Botong Francisco D. Vicente Manansala E. Guillermo Tolentino Chito A. Fernando Amor Solo um, The owners of ano, um, yung liquor company, they were so pleased with Amor Solo's work that they sponsored his continuing art studies in Madrid. Amor Solo is correct. Okay, check. Akala ko lifetime liquor. Ano eh. <laughs> <laughs> Supply. <laughs> Supply. Anyway, we're done with the first half. Attorney Scorsese. Yeah, Kapta. and Chito is back in the lead with 140 points, followed by Ulap with 120, Dias with 95, and Russell with negative 15. Pero marami pang pwede mangyari. Marami pang pwede mangyari. Dahil meron pang 180 points remaining for the second half. Okay, simulan na natin. Third set of questions. Prof. Marian. Organic chemistry is the study of the structure, composition, properties of organic compounds found not only in living organisms, but also in agri- and petrochemicals, detergents, cosmetics, at iba pa. Which of the following elements is not found in organic molecules? A. Carbon B. Hydrogen C. Oxygen D. Phosphorus Russell D. Phosphorus Male Or E. Calcium 
Dias. Calcium. The major component of organic compounds is carbon, together with hydrogen and other elements like oxygen, phosphorus, nitrogen. All metals, like calcium, are considered inorganic. Okay, check. Okay, Prof. Lu. Okay, Philippine culture naman. What Philippine town is famous for its kneeling Carabao festival held every May 14 and 15? A. Lukban, Quezon B. Obando, Bulacan C. Angono, Rizal D. Pulilan, Bulacan E. Balayan, Batangas The Carabao Festival is celebrated in honor of San Isidlo, Isidro Labrador. Decorated water buffaloes are led by farmers in Pulilan, Bulacan in a long procession to the church where they kneel and receive their blessings. The correct answer is the Pulilan Bulacan. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Again in literature, Urbana at Felisa, 1864, by Father Modesto de Castro, is an epistolary novel intended to teach values and proper behavior. What is an epistolary novel composed of? A. Fables B. Letters C. Poems D. Pictures E. Sermons Russell B. Letters Letters is correct. K. Check. Thank you. And now we're off to the last set of questions. Oh, with Cheetah in the lead with 140 points, Dias in second place with 125 points, Ulap with 120 points. Yes, okay, let's go. Prof. Marian. Dalian ko lang ha. Which of the following is not a liquid in room temperature? A. Water B. Mercury C. Ethanol D. Magnesium or E. Bromine Dias. Bromine Mali Cheeto Magnesium. Okay, all of the given are liquid in room temperature except the magnesium. Okay, check. Parang ramdam ko yung sakit <laughs> ni Daya. Grabe. <laughs> Meron pang 60 points <laughs> na pwede paglabanan. Prof. Lu, for 30 points. Go. Okay, Philippine economic history. Ang ating paksa. What was the first official economic zone in the Philippines? A. Cavite Export Processing Zone B. Clark Freeport and Special Economic Zone C. Subic Special Economic and Freeport Zone D. Bataan Export Processing Zone or E. Mactan Export Processing Zone Dias. Clark Freeport and Special Economic Zone Sorry, mali. On November 20, 1972, the Export Processing Zone Authority or EPSA was created through Presidential Decree 66, thereby establishing the first official economic zone in the Philippines as the Bataan Export Processing Zone or BEPZ. The correct answer is D, Bataan Export Processing Zone. Thank you. Now we're off to the last question for this round. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Uh, madali lang po ito. <clears throat> um, in literature, the 19th century epic poem, Corrido at Buhay na pinagdaanan ng tatlong prinsipeng magkakapatid na anak ni Haring Fernando at ni Reina Valeriana sa kahariang Berbanya, author unknown, has inspired movies, books, a ballet, and a musical. What is the poem called for short? Chito. Florante at Laura. Mali po. Let me give the choices. No? A. Fernando at Valeriana. B. Principe Amante. C. Ibong Adarna. C. Ibong Adarna. Let me finish. D. Orosman at Zafira. E. Dalagang Bukid. 
Ibong Adarna is correct. K-check. And that's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Chito, our K-check Weekly winner with a final score of 155 points. Congratulations, Chito. And syempre, maraming maraming salamat din kay Dayas, Ulap, at Russell for joining. And of course, maraming salamat sa miyembro ng ating panel of experts, ang ating mga suke, Professor Marian, Professor Lou, and Professor Sophia. Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check! K -check!